So hackers today come in different forms and different shapes and different sizes, but definitely with different motivations. Let's look at a couple of them right now. So in a hacking world, there's more of a for-profit or criminal underworld kind of a program. Here you can think of it as, as the old-fashioned crime bosses. What we're seeing today is that, and there's a recent study that just came out that says the for-profit you know, underworld of, of hacking has now eclipsed the drug trade, the illegal drug trade of marijuana, cocaine, and heroin. That's the value, that's the size, it's enormous. And we can actually break that down into two separate categories. One is a very targeted style attack where they're building malware to penetrate your business to take vital pieces of information. And again, don't fool yourself into thinking that this is banking, this is government stuff, or this is healthcare stuff. People are coming at you to find out who your best customers are, your latest IP, your top employees, maybe some trade secrets that they can use to negotiate a better agreement with you somewhere down the line. But either way, they're taking things from you. And there are plenty of statistics to show just how often. The second one we're seeing more today of is as a hacktivist, somebody that finds something about the way you do business that they do not like. They're not necessarily in there for profit, but they are in there to disrupt your business and show that they can and take it to the world that they don't like who you are and what you do. Now, you could be doing everything right. You could be 100% legally correct, but they're going to wreak havoc within your organization in a way you can't stop them pyramid networking schemes of immense you know, processing power and lots of brains spread all around the world just picking away at you with the sole intent of embarrassing you and making you look bad. So it's an issue. The last one we suffer from quite a bit today is an insider risk. And we see more of this when the economy takes a downturn. You see people suffering financially and trying to find a way from, to profit from data they might find on the inside. So three key categories. First one is, you know, that outside hacker that has a couple different forms. You have the hacktivist today, and you finally you have your insider all imposing risk. So a thought here is, as you walk away from this, is first one, you've got to have policies that are educated throughout your organization, not just technology, so people understand risk and the risk of, of losing your data and leaving things exposed. And the last one is make sure you have technology there. Give your IT people what they need to get the job done properly.